My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch, and I'm a neurosurgeon that specializes in spine surgery. Me and my PAs, Erica, Sammy, and Jess are going to Miami for a trip to the INS spine section meeting. I am a board certified private practice spine surgeon, and I practice in Gainesville, Georgia. Being a private practice neurosurgeon, these types of national conferences are actually really educational. Not only do these types of meetings help us learn about the latest and greatest in spine surgery, but it also helps us connect with other professionals and spend time together as a team away from home. We flew from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale and landed at about 11 a.m. We rented a car and drove one hour to Miami to the Fountain Blue Hotel on Miami Beach. This place is absolutely beautiful. We checked in at about lunchtime and by this time of day, we were so hungry. We unpacked our stuff and checked out this amazing room. Look at this view, guys. You can look from Miami Beach all the way to Miami from this room. Eric and I have been practicing together since 2014, so naturally she was gonna be my roommate for this trip. Sammy and Jess have been best friends since college, so they also had a room very similar to ours, and y'all, this suite was massive. I had made a reservation for us to get our nails done at one o'clock, so we made our way down to the spa. Once we got into the spa, we realized that we were in the wrong place, so they redirected us to the nail salon. Honestly, I was a little frustrated because when we checked in, they didn't have a reservation at all, so I had to reschedule for Saturday. We quickly went up to the lobby so we could finally get our hanger out, and we ate some sushi. I had the dragon roll, and it was really, really delicious, and honestly, I will take anything to eat at this point because I hadn't eaten all day. We went back upstairs to the room after lunch so we could change and go back downstairs and get ourselves registered for the conference. We did catch a few quick lectures in the afternoon. We were able to look over the schedule for the weekend so we could pick out which lectures we felt would be the most helpful for us. We then went to get some coffee and eyeball the amazing gelato that they had down in the lobby and a next step was gonna be to go out and see the sun. I've never been to the Fountain Blue before, and it is just such an amazing place with so many different pools, and the vibes here are just phenomenal. We had had a long day of travel, so we just walked around to absorb the entire atmosphere of the beach and all the pools and just the weather. We came from Georgia where it was 37 degrees out, and here we all are in Miami in 75 degree weather. We went to Sea Spice in Miami, and this place was just amazing. We were able to sit down and watch the boats come to and from, and it was just so much fun. Oh yeah, and the food was also pretty great too. Erica got the red snapper, and I got the Japanese Wagyu steak, and they cooked it by the table. It's probably one of the best steaks I've had in a while. After dinner, we got invited to come out on a private yacht that was literally docked in the intercoastal waterway right across the street from the hotel. I've never been on a yacht like this before, and it had literally a hot tub on the roof. We then went back across the street to the hotel and the live nightclub had literally taken over the inside lobby. So of course we had to go check it out. In terms of nightclubs, this place totally lived up to its reputation in Miami Beach. The music was great and the people watching was even better. We spent the rest of the evening just hanging out and having a good time and enjoying the music. I didn't want to stay out too, too late because we still have two more nights here. We spent some time outside before we went back up to our room to go to bed because the weather is so good. Stay tuned for more vlogs of day two and day three of our conference. And as a woman, don't you love when our body surprises us with little things on vacation? Yeah, thanks.